How did you decide you wanted to work for NASA? Uh, I was actually in the Air Force in Cocoa Beach at Patrick Air Force Base, and they had a shuttle launch. And I saw that shuttle launch, and I thought, oh, that's fascinating. I would really like to do that. And I got out of the Air Force, and I was fortunate enough to get a job working for NASA. What did you like as a child? I like sports. I really like the beach, and I like playing sports. That's what I like most as a child. As an engineer, did you ever go into space? No, I haven't been in space, but if I get the chance, I would definitely go. How long have you worked at NASA? Uh, 13 years. And what did you build at NASA? Uh, my job, I work as an engineer, so I'm kind of responsible for the bridges, the roads, uh, the air conditioning systems, some of the environmental stuff. So let's say there was a problem with the bridge, where I work, someone would say, hey Gabe, the bridge isn't working, you need to go figure out how to fix it. So I would go out to the bridge, I would talk to a bridge tender or somebody who's knowledgeable in that area, ask them what the problem is, how do we fix it, and then try to get the money to do that. So the great thing about that is it took me all over the space. Center. What were your goals in order to get into NASA as an engineer? I think my goals were really just to get in and do anything. I really didn't care what I wanted to do. I really wanted to just be involved in the space program. So in the space program, as I mentioned in the presentation, there's many, many different jobs. You can do almost anything. It's like a small city. So anything that you do within a city, you can do within NASA and still work in the space program. Even though you're not physically building rockets or you're not going into space, you can help other people do that. Okay. What is it like traveling around and teaching kids about NASA and space? Uh, I love doing it. I, I don't get paid to do this, I just do it for fun. And I think the space program is so excitement. So with kids, it's important for me that they share in that excitement. And I really like to talk about dreams and goals. It's so important that you understand you can do anything you want, be anything you want. You don't have to be super smart. You just have to try to figure out what that is. And sometimes that's the most difficult thing to do. But if you think you know what you'd like to do, remember, write it down. See, that's my goal. And ask yourself, what steps do I have to take to achieve it? And just go do it. And if you don't have any idea what you want to do, think, what's the most fun thing I could do? And write that down and ask yourself how you achieve it. It's very, very simple to achieve all your dreams and all your goals. You just have to be orientated that this is what I want to do. Okay. Did someone inspire you to become an engineer? Who were they? Uh, no one really inspired me to become an engineer. I, I was working, I was actually driving a truck. I was doing a lot of things within the maintenance field. And I heard about an opportunity to work in an engineering field. And I just thought that I could do better than, than staying as a mechanic. And so I got the opportunity to get into engineering. And I just enjoyed it. And uh, it just, I was kind of self-motivated, self-taught to enjoy and have fun. What was your childhood inspiration? Gosh, probably a baseball player. You know, I like playing baseball. So most of my childhood inspirations were athletes. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the first shuttle you watched take off? I think the first one was Discovery, but I'm not sure. It was the very first launch, whatever the first one was. I can't remember for sure what that one was. But the interesting thing about the first launch, if you ever see pictures of a shuttle, and if you remember in there, the picture of the shuttle, the tank, the fuel tank is orange. But in the very first launch, it was painted white. So if you happen to see a picture of the shuttle with a white tank, you know, that's the very first launch. And what happened was they had a co-op student come to NASA and say to NASA, why are you painting that type white? Why are you painting the tank white? It burns up in the atmosphere. You could save a lot of money and a lot of weight by not painting it. So that's what happened. After that first launch, they never painted the tank again. And the orange color is its natural color. Okay. Did you get along with your coworkers? Yes. I, I really believe it's important to get along. And that's why I like sports. Because in sports, you really have to play as a team. And I think sports teaches you so much about life. Uh, I always encourage people to play sports because you learn to work as a team. And the more you can work together, the more you can help each other out, the easier your life will be. What is it like in NASA? Well, I think it's magical in NASA. I was telling some of the kids earlier, whenever you walk around the space program, whatever building you go into, whatever room you go into, whatever hallway you go into, there's always pictures of space program or space pictures of rockets or pictures of space. So everywhere you go, your mind is taking you off somewhere. You're never really at NASA on the ground. You're going somewhere mentally, and it's always fun. When you first started working for NASA, how did you feel? 
excited. I was really, really happy. I've been trying to get to NASA. I was working for the Air Force for about 10 years, and I was trying to get from the Air Force to NASA. So when I finally did it, I was extremely happy. And lastly, were you and your twin sister close as children? Are you still close now? Uh, no, we really weren't close as kids. Uh, we were very, very different. She was very goal-orientated. For some reason, when she was five years old, she knew she wanted to be a teacher. So it was very easy for her to do well in school. She knew she had to do well, so she mapped out her progress to become a teacher. I hated school, so I didn't want to be a teacher. My parents were always hassling me, why can't you be like your sister? And I thought, well, she wants to be a teacher. I don't like school, I don't want to be like her. And I liked sports so much, I didn't want anything to do with school. But we, as we become adults, we became a lot closer, and we're very close now.